Yeah, I'll fix the audio. All good? Yes. All right. Right, here we are then, on a rainy Interlagos for Tier 3. Will be an 80 million long qualifying session and uh, a total lap sprint race and also a 36 lap main race. So we'll have quite a lot to cover, just like last uh, yesterday in Tier 1. I had quite a good race there, a few safety cars. Um, I'm gonna right now review all of the um, sponsors that we have for today for, for this season I meant we have David Racing who's actually hosted by um, a person who retired that is uh, Davy, Davy does bid. They will be providing five pound Amazon gift card to the winners of Tier Two and Tier Three. F1 Wow, our community site. Uh, make sure to check that out as well as the Instagram page. Great Finder, which supports over forty thousand sim races by helping them find links, commentators, and more. And they will be, be providing an, an automobilist F1 print to the winners of all three tiers. Super Fun Racing creates F1 merchandise and collectibles, and they will be providing uh, a 23 F1 season calendar uh, to the winners of tier 1 and tier 2. High caliber apparel, which is uh, hosted by uh, a fellow tier 1 races, tier 1 racer, high caliber. Uh, and, and it's a new US based clothing brand. Uh, and then we'll be providing a custom champions poster to the winners of tier 1 and tier 2. Next level racing. Um, they will be providing an FGD cutback to the winner of tier 1 and tier 2 and a giveaway to all the drivers who complete a 75% at least 75% of all races bet stop prizes um, which are competition websites uh, and they will be providing a 10 pound virtue to the 2P2 or 2 Slugger remote sports as they uh, produce clothing across a range of collections um, and they will be Kindly providing a t-shirt uh, of choice to the winner of all three tiers. Formula rings create uh, uh, rings, basically, as the name suggests. And they will be providing uh, a P3 of all tiers with a 50% version. Racetracks art creates uh, layouts of all different tracks in neon lead, carbon and hood. And they will be providing a custom trophy to the winners of all three tiers. RCS GFX is our graphics designer for this season. 60 Iconic uh, creates canvas art, and they will be providing exactly that: the canvas art to the winners, uh, to the winner of tier one. Reaction time from Pokers hosted by Big Homie, who raises in tier one, um, uh, and he speaks about all things about F1. They will be providing a $25 Xbox gift card to the winner of Tier 1. Mode Push USA is our title sponsor, um, uh, owned by a racing driver as well, and they provide gloves, which they're gonna also be providing to us, to, uh, to the winner of each tier, and also a 60% off code for the P2 and P3 of each tier, and a 50% server-wide discount code, and Formula Prints, will provide an F1 phone case to the winners of Tier 1 and Tier 2. That's of their choice. And that is the sponsors for Season 8. Uh, if you want to, you know, uh, get involved in the chat, I'll be reading the comments there. Uh, 
and me getting someone who's on a on a flight nap right now. Uh, so let's get to the racing then. We have for today. Uh, let me just lower my headphones though, just so you don't get the echo. So we have Asino Cree and Mika lining up for the Mercedes. Asino Cree currently on pole position with a 119.140. Mika in 12 currently setting a lap and we'll be going a move with them. Uh, Zakiman, actually, more with Monkey Brown because he's ending, he's almost ending his slight now. Uh, Zakiman and Ten Super lined up for the McLaren team as Monkey D. Brando loses it and goes off track. Back onto Mikkel then. As, and also, he loses it. <laughs> Is that the commentator's curse? Uh, let's go into Zakiman then. Um, also, I'm having quite some emoji kits which I hate. Hold on just a second. They're walking. Yes, okay. Just checking if the audio cuts out, you know. Um, so, as I was saying, we have then Zakiman and then Super lined up in the McLaren. Uh, Zakiman with a 119.555, then Super with no time set right now. Then Hilsi with a 119.646 in the has. His teammate is currently. Actually, he has no, te he has no teammate for today. Uh, my bad. Uh, Brandon then with a 120.483 lined up with Lewis in the Alpha Tori. In 13th, currently setting a lap and puts himself up to fourth now with a 120.470. Apollo, uh, who's currently in sixth with a 120.639, per, um, he's in the Ferrari. Siberia NT, partnered by Supercars. Siberia with a 121.093 in P7. Supercars in P10 with a 124.345. I'm sure we can see a lot of improvements on this times. Um, Bill like is then. Partnered by Fisher Fingers, I reserve in uh, this tier. Uh, currently in P8 with a 122.162. Fisher Fingers currently on an out lap to set uh, the probably uh, probably a good time, I suppose. As uh, Hugo and Max Feinhacht also uh, are the drivers lined up in the Red Bull with on intermediate tyres. Right now, 122.603 goes to Hugo, who's in P10 right now, and Max Vein Weinhacht, uh, Weinacht, I think that is that is pronounced that way. Um, 125.231 uh, currently in P13. Then we have Monkey Bran and Donkey Kong in the Alfa Romeo. Monkey Dibran with a 121.409 and Donkey Kong in last place currently hasn't set any lap so far. As so we have a stopped Alpine uh, at the pit lane exit. They damaged their whole front wing. That's not the the best way to exit the pit lane I would say. At least they set a time so that's good for them. But anyway both McLarens, as we saw in the precision testings, now retain their 1-2. One 118.879 for Zakiman and 118.978, almost a tenth between each other. Zensuper now loses it, almost damages their wing in the process, and he's in second right now. I think Okri is uh, starting the lap soon, but who's about to complete the lap? I uh, think that is Mikkel. Mikkel is up on his time, though. Zakiman gonna improve his time. Uh, yeah, think so. That's enough you asked for it. Let's see then. What toast spreading love messages to Kirk Malakis in the Twitch chat. Ah, Zakiman crosses the line, he improves his fastest time by even uh, even further. 118.756, that is. Improved by 2 tenths, I guess. And he'll see the 
letting all the cars by as Estina Cree is going past the Haas car of Hilsey. Can Estina Cree actually get on top of the McLaren now? He said a powerful sector 2 is going on for a uh, faster time, I suppose, unless he's gonna pit. I don't know. Uh, no, he continues on and he crosses the line to set a 118.948 gets just th um, 30 hundreds exactly 30 hundreds in front of Dan Super but still stays in P2 behind Zakiman up next uh, we have Hilsey actually on the lap and also we have uh, an Aston Martin that's Bill Luckers we're gonna we're gonna stay on board with Hilsey though as he's just started his lap not too too far away from uh, to claim um, to improve his time and perhaps even go below 119 they want to choose whether to do good or bad I guess There are 7 minutes remaining in the session, Purple Sector 2 from Hilsey as he proceeds to continue on to Sector 3 now to hopefully for him get that top 3 even though there's still a lot of minutes remaining so anything can change right now. That was half to get the best time as possible because starting a sprint in the bottom place is not ideal especially with the, uh, with the first lap. The sprint 119.408 he improves by two tenths but not enough to improve the place that is it's monkey also starting the lap now we're gonna go on board with the alpha Romeo driver currently uh the uh on the line though between uh, the top 10 and uh, the outside of the top 10 that's gonna be point zone in the main race but the point zone in the sprint race is P, um, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Uh, so yeah, and of course the points go from eight points to one point for eighth place. It's Monkey D. Brandon, he doesn't have enough yet. Yes, actually, so I don't know if he's aborted or anything. Yeah, I think he did. I think he did. Um, Sabiri also having quite some issues there. Almost evaluating the lap. Behind them we have Hugo. Who's about to start a new lap. Max Feinhardt uh, now left the pit lane. In front of Dogen Kong. Looks like there's quite a yellow fla some yellow flags in sector 2. Dogen Kong is in a lap right now. Looks like he's starting a new one. I don't know. Just feels. I don't know. It feels like he's aborting, but at the same time, it, it doesn't feel like that. So Siberia then decided to to pit. Gonna stay on board with Donkey Kong and then move on to who I think could give us a really really good lap today. In this session, finish your fingers. I think start just started the flying up. Stonger King is about to to complete uh, the first lap actually of the session. As they cross the line to set up 123.416, puts him in 14th place, drops Max Weinhardt in P16. He's about to improve that lap. We'll go on board with. Um, Lewis, who's invalidated the lap, so he's probably gonna uh, improve that one. I suppose so. So let's see what he can do. As we have more cars coming through the grid, Brandon starting the flying lap now. Uh, I think behind them it's Monkey D. Brand. Yeah, it probably, it probably is Monkey D. Brand. As in fact, he goes P6 with a 120.423. Lewis goes one time faster in sector one. Can he manage to get uh, higher up the V6 
field here. As he goes to the um, challenging section, which is sect sector two, which, is, which includes lots of, um, can we call them herpins, sort of? As we have a spin uh, behind Lewis, that's I think. Uh, yeah, it's supercars. That's seeing Brandon pass now. Lewis then sets a purple sector two, full turns up in sector two as he. Proceeds on to sector three. Can he improve his time and improve his place into uh, to start the sprint race in style? I would say. Uh, as he proceeds to cross the line now, he just improves by one place, 119.819. Can his teammate do any better? As he there's no jazz obviously due to wet, poor weather conditions, but of course that doesn't stop you from setting a good time. Brandon doesn't improve, so he still stays P9. Up next we have Dan Super. He's actually gonna start on that now. Uh, actually gonna, uh, gonna go on um, board with someone who actually is setting a lap, and that is Hugo. Indeed it is, he comes P7 now, 119.581, the teammate I just noticed from P16 to P4 that is 119.196, the Red Bulls currently in 4th and 7th, um, next up we have, uh, I think, uh, one of the Alfa Romeos, is it Donkey Kong, no, I see could the pit entrance there, uh, Lewis now retires from the session. I'll go on board with Billakers. Uh, as we have quite a train of cars there. About to start the final lap then. And I think Billakers will be our first person here to complete our qualifying session. And start the sprint race. So, we're gonna see. Where they can, where they, what lap can, uh, they can set. Lots of yellow flags getting deployed. Smilakis then proceeds to set to Pablo Sector to Zakiman being too being so confident. Uh, <laughs> joking of course. He decided to retire in the middle of the track as Villakis is coming as well. And invalidated due to that. That's so unfortunate, but he still has some more time to the lap. Not enough yet, Esther. And that's gonna be a huge uh, Not even his mistake though. You didn't make anything about that. Up next then, we have Estino Cree, who will complete, who will be the first one then to complete this qualifying session. As you can see, Wallo stays in 12th, Siberian 13th, Donkey Kong in 15th, provisionally. As Estino Cree will be the first one to cross the line and give us a time. DLC will be up next. As Estino Cree goes really, really close, but only manages to improve by one tenth, 118.809. Hilsey crosses the line to get P4, 119.020. Uh, Mikkel decides to pit. Uh, then we have Brandon, who doesn't, doesn't improve once again. Uh, up next, we have uh, Supercars. Is that Supercars? Yes. 123.237. Uh, the McLaren of Dan Super, who stays B3. And we have Hugo up next. Hugo who decides to go to improve their time, but doesn't improve their place. Lots of drivers there not improving their actual place. Uh, and, uh, and last driver then will be Max Feinerhacht. Um, as he... Can he actually improve? Yes, he can, and he goes B2. 118.772. Look at the gap between Zekiman and Max. That's just a few hundreds. Uh, yeah, Max then claims B2, but no one can manage to get on top of Zekiman there. And Zekiman claims the, uh, the pole position. He already knew he would stay up there, apparently, by retiring. Um, 
But I guess that that confirms your starting grid for uh, today's sprint race, and then we'll have the main race. So then that is your starting grid for the sprint race. Zakiman in first, followed by Max, Asino Creed, Dan Super, Hilsey, Mikkel, Hugo, Lewis, Monkey D. Brand, and Brandon. Outside of the top 10, we have Billakers, Apollo, Siberia, Fishy Fingers, Supercars, and Dong Kong. Now, there's not much to be said about strategies as you saw as it's wet conditions, but because uh, okay, not much to be said in the sprint either, but in the main race, uh, I think it more it comes more to when you pit due to tire wear probably. But of course, the tire is only one. The tire the you can only pit for one tire set, and that is the wet. But now we're gonna focus on this 12 lap sprint race. Just gonna give us hopefully some nice action to commentate through. As we wait for the drivers to ready up, then. Right, so we'll have Matt Copper joining us in the commentary, with, uh, who I'm inviting right now. So, uh. As we start the formation lap, we have Siberian Supercars, both teammates at Alpine who collided with each other. That's not a good start for the Alpine uh, Academy. Hello, Matt Copper. Make sure to include your audio. Oh, wait. Pretty sure I have it, though. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and invite you. Try to lower your echo. Oh, I don't know if I can actually invite you. Actually, yes, I can. From the party. Right, uh, sorry if I didn't give you a really good view of the formation lab, but putting out commentary here. As. Uh, then, what can I say? We have Zakiman, then, followed by Max, Essina Creed, Dan Super, Hilsey, Mikkel, Hugo, Lewis, Monkey D. Bran, Brandon, Bilakis, Apollo, Siberian Supercars in 13th and 15th. Who collide with each other at the formation lab. Fishy Fingers and Donkey Kong both uh, pretty far away. I wonder why Donkey Kong is going that slow in the formation lab, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Lots of drivers, uh, some drivers not getting the parking slot correctly. But I guess everyone is lined up now for this 12 lap sprint race, followed by a 50% race of 36 laps. Let's go. As we already have our first glitch. Oh, never mind. One, two, three, four, five lights. 
As Lewis gets a drive through penalties, lights it out and away we go as Max gets a great start, already claims P1 at the start. As the quick though, what a start there as he claims P1 through the start. He goes side by side with Max through the first two corners as Max has a better exit through turn three. Lewis tries to fight his way through the field here as he had the jump start, so he has a drive through the serve. The two Mercedes currently in third and fourth, lots of action being provided at the back of the grid as the two of uh, Sumatis are fighting the supercar spawn with Tongue Gun trying to take his lipstream. The two McLarens had a horrible start there as they got dropped uh, off the podium zone and there's already a visual safety car being deployed due to Donkey Kong uh, uh, retiring from the race. And that is terminal damage indeed as we have a lot of chaos now going in the, in the grid now. Big moment championship wise, Hilsey got spun around on turn two, which has cost him places to Mick, who Mick's leading the championship, Hilsey second, so that's big. Yeah, indeed. As uh, a apartment Dan Super invited me to play, <laughs> to join the lobby. Oh, there we go. He's disconnected and asking me to join. So, while the virtual safety car is on, Lewis still didn't serve his drive through because he cannot do that uh, uh, when a safety car is deployed. Fishy Fingers pits. Uh, snagging a bit, but there's green flag then for the visual safety car. I think he got wind damage, but there we go. Green flag for the visual safety car. That's the Quick tries to defend from Dan Super, who's asked me to join back. So he's fighting an AI here, and he's doing quite well there. Uh, as his teammate is trying to get past the McLaren there, and, he's, and Z uh, Zachyman will also get through now. Dan Super, not his best race starts. Hopefully, he can have good comeback there. But uh, as we head towards sector 3 then, uh, in a few corners, uh, then we have Monkey Debrand also trying to get past Dan Super, obviously they're an AI. They, I think they got back in their car, did they? Uh, yes, they did. They did. They didn't lose that many places at least, which is good for them. Uh, through the field then we have Dan Super then trying to fight off a fight with Monkey and that allows Hugo to get past almost both. He makes contact with Monkey to run in the process. But on the straight they go, Lewis bits now to serve the drive through and that's going to drop him massively down the grid. Zaki Man sets a 121.639 as the fastest lap of the current race. Dan Super again disconnected, looks like. Zakiman is using his all eyes now to get past the Mercedes ahead of Mikkel. Mikkel trying to fight him off as he's on the outside currently Mikkel. Zakiman now pulls aside and waits behind the Mercedes ahead. They lost quite a bit actually as they were lined up in a in the almost podium. Then they lost uh, all of those places all of a sudden and it starts. Not a good start but they can they didn't lose that many places so they can still manage to get those back. Sorry for the kin for the interruptions in the stream, but Dan Super is having quite quite some connection issues. As uh, we gonna stay uh, on board with uh, Mikkel, as Lewis also got passed by the way. Supercar is here. The focus is now on whether Zakiman can actually overtake Mikkel. This AI is going past Hugo. No, this is AI. Yeah. Yes, I draw him back though. Yeah, I invited him back, but he's disconnecting each time he joins back, so I don't know what's going on. Zaki Mendor, now really close to Mikkel. It's the same situation we saw last, last week in Tier 1. Uh, the fact that uh, there's no IAS, so you have to rely on IAS power, and you cannot really overtake that many times as you would expect to. 
Meanwhile, Fish Finger sets a 119 point, uh, if I saw correctly, yeah, 820. Um, because he's on a fresh uh, tire compound compared to the others, but not by that much. It's two laps compared to three laps. So you can now get past Dan Super. Dan Super will probably try and get past the Red Bull once again. We'll see. Monkey with a big moment, he's sideways, he's round. Ooh! As he spins on the curb there, he loses traction. I think a few people also did the same mistake in Quali. This is now almost dropped out of the point zone. Unless for the main race, this is already out of the point zone. Oh, and and he wall. actually spins again. He damages his whole wing there. He doesn't pit though. And that bro brings out a safety car for the first time in this race. He had a visual safety car a few laps ago, now a safety car. He's gonna play in the hands of Monkey then. This is helping Max because he's got less time, he has to try and keep the others behind. However, he did yeah. have a reasonable gap, so that would be a bad part of the kid. And he will have to have the two Mercedes right behind him on the restart. So what are you expecting to see this race to finish like? I'm not really sure, I think the strategy is going to play a big part with safety cars coming out. You don't want to pit on the green flag running. But I think whoever gets that right will end up towards the front. But I think Zachman has the overall pace to try and win this. Obviously, right now we have a sprint, so it's uh, crucial to stay in the race and not DNF. It's it's that dance is on the wall. Oh! That's all of a sudden, there. He's gone straight on. I, I saw it from behind. It appeared like a controller disconnect kind of incident. He just literally went straight on. Now he's AI stopped on the curb, though, in letting Lewis pass. For, I don't know how the AI. What's the AI logic on this game? But he's broken his own front wing just like Monkey did. Yeah, it looks like he's in the game, though. He's not disconnected. He's still. He's not ghosted, so that means he's in the car. And I suppose he will come into the pits now. No, he won't. He actually stays out. That's gonna be a, an issue for the drivers behind him. Then Monkey Brown pits for a new, set of, a new set of wets and also a new front wing. As the first few cars catch up behind the safety car, we're going to probably restart this race uh, next lap. By the looks of it. Then the order which we're seeing right now is Max in first, followed by Estina Cree, Mikkel, Zakiman, Hugo, Hilsey. Brandon, Siberia, Villacos, Apollo, Lewis, Dan Super, Supercars, Fishy Fingers, and Monkey D. Brand. His teammate currently behind him, though he's DNF at um, the first lap and goes the Vitro Safety Car. But there's still another race, so he still has one more chance to gain points. Oh, because he missed out on the first one, which we again gained him up to, t to 8 points. I want to remind you the fastest lap point doesn't count in the sprint race, only in the main race. Stan Super now goes into, into the pits. As there's quite a misunderstanding there between Apollo and Bilakos and Luis as well. Apollo got I a 5 second penalty there. for that. Yeah. I wonder what happened there. I uh, don't know if, anyone else, if anyone's got damage from that. Bill Lakers did get damage from that. So I guess that's why the penalty I've only got a penalty. Probably I th I think Bill Lakers actually got pushed into Siberia then to get damage. Probably a misjudgment of breaking them from the Ferrari of Apollo. I don't know, but it looks like that. Even though 
Seems like it's not that much of damage, just looks like yellow. I don't know which part of the front wing it is, but it is yellow damage, at least what it says from the database. As we are about to restart this race, not officially as Max then spins from the lead. And under the safety car, that is a bad save from, for him. He's out of the points as well and into P11. He needs a, a solid place because the result of this, of the, of the sprint, will determine the starting grid. Now trying to get back to his positions, his original position, but that is if they let you pass, of course. And because of that, the safety car didn't come in. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna wait another lap as Apollo now serves he is gonna serve his five second time penalty right now. Not a good way to restart the to end the sprint. The race. He had ah, by the way, well. um, the safety car in any case is gonna go in automatically uh, at lap nine because it can't stay out for more than five laps. So drivers have to be as quick as possible and then the more the safety car stays out the worse it is for the for some drives i guess as you know there there, there seems to be more incidents when they with safety cars than without at least in my view I don't know if anyone else can agree with that, but... I know, just... I mean, this instance are coast under the safety car. That is good to have because... It gives you a, a better restart. And there we go. So, ST not crew will back up the pack. And I would expect he'll probably go about... Just after the little kink on this front. But he needs to try and get the jump with his teammate ahead of his left man. So Max still got a bit of a few places. Uh, this is in a free he picks up the pace now. Yes, he does. Look at look at that. As we have a spin already. Look at what has gone on already. Oh my! That oh, was passes round. Hills is in the wall. He's taken Brandon with him. What has happened? That involved. In total, Siberia, Dan Super, Hilsey, Lewis and Brandon. What has gone on there? And that probably was due to the late restart. Fixture Fingers is now trying to fight off the uh, opinion of supercars. His teammate is right ahead, is now going past the fellow teammate. Uh, it's been like then goes a bit wide, probably has wing damage to deal with from earlier. She has Max right in front. That helped Max quite a bit though, not gonna lie. Sakiman also good past Mikkel in the process and he's on the um, on the hunt uh, for Esno Creek. Further down the grid we have Hugo really close to Mikkel. And Max is off. To his advantage. Max has. Yeah, Max is off once again. What a weird crash. He he is side by side with Monkey now. Monkey lag in there. Through. Yeah. He goes right up the back of the yeah. He goes up to EIS usage, I guess. And right now, Max looks to be disconnected as well. He's he going side by side with Mick down for turn 4. Monkey also, can I specify this thing? Monkey has full wind damage. Hugo and Mick have touched. He goes in the wall, all Mick's round. Oh. Mick well, has lost lots of positions there. I barely got that into the stream as I was looking at what Monkey was doing without wind damage as Brandon there catches up but doesn't have that much of time to overtake the Mercedes. Um. As he tries once again round the inside, the, the as Martin does that as well on the Red Bull, who's ghosted. I don't know if they're disconnected or not, but 
Seems like. Seems like it. And supercars is up to fourth. He starts all the way down in about P13, I believe. Yeah, supercars. I believe he's never scored he's points before, but he would pick up. Five points. Well, I can, but he's, he's gonna have to hold, hold on. For one more lap. Actually, one and a half. But yeah, uh, Mikkel then trying to. Oh, this game back, the places. The. 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 I'll get it done. Also, the incident between Hugo and Mikkel reminded me of Lewis between um, uh, Lewis versus Max. Yeah. Oh! Uh, Hamilton the versus hit the back of Hugo. Both of them almost lose it. Because now he's his curse on supercars. He's lost four places. Ooh, he's sending it. Into the inside of Hilsey. He's got the place though, I think he made some contact with Brandon though, but doesn't look like he's affected him too much. Nor Brandon he affected it he affected Brandon. He also now has a better Rexy round the inside of the last corner before they get to this straight. Ooh, Maybe so pass the He almost lost it there. Look at how aggressive currently Supercars is to gain that place back and he does. Will he'll see fight back? Will he stay behind? Yeah, Supercar's so over shot the breaking zone. So we'll drop down. And if he's not careful he might drop out of points completely because Sinister is right behind him now. Meanwhile Lewis trying to fight high color uh, monkey brand here, not high color, but high color is another tier. Uh monkey here with full in damage. Max, I think he's disconnected at this point because he's go this is just ghosted. Uh, and he's lost the chance. Oh, now he's asking me to join back, but he won't have enough time as his la the last lap of I'll the sprint. Send him in. Yeah, I sent him an invite. The, the only way, way I, I can invite him them if, is if they ask me. Because I cannot directly invite them. The option is great out as Mikkel then is fighting with Hugo, who has wing damage too. How much wing damage we're seeing today? Unless Mikkel will. Take before, if nothing else. Because the massive up in this race. Like he might lose then place. crosses the line to take the win of the sprint race, followed by Zakiman, Fisher Fingers, Mikkel. Hugo is now fighting with uh, Academy mate Brandon. Hugo in fifth, Brandon in sixth, Hills in seventh, Supercars in eighth, Bilak is in ninth, Louis in tenth, Monkey in eleventh, and Apollo in twelfth. Out of this race we had Max, Sagiria, Densuper and Donkey Kong. Also, someone can invite Real Pixel. He's in PlayStation. That would be nice. I was asking for an invite. That's your result then for the sprint. First eight places get points then. So, because scoring then his first points as well, as you said. But we're moving on on to the main race now. Strategies matter here. Matter here. As we're waiting for the drivers to ready up then and then we'll go for another formation up and then 
36 laps of Interlagos There we go then with the formation up. That we have then <coughs> as in a Cree. Zakiman, Fish Fingers now gets disqualified from the formation lap for hitting somebody, I suppose. As in a Cree then in for a Zakim, followed by Zakiman, Fish Fingers, Mikhail, Hugo, Brandon, Hilsey, Supercars, Bilakers. Lewis, Monkey, Apollo, Max, Dan Super, Siberia and Donkey Kong. Back then to the so all the drivers th the strategies depends on when you pit will play a really really big role here. So in the then lines up in first followed by Zakiman. Once again I'll, I'll review the starting grid. Fisher Fingers, Mikkel, Hugo, Brandon, Hilsey, Supercars, Spillakers, Lewis, Monkey D. Brand, Apollo, Max Feinacht, um Dan Super, Siberia and Donkey Kong taking his time once again. Uh four drivers there got the parking lot uh bad. Actually three because Fisher Fingers was already disqualified. Donkey Kong then parks perfectly. Here we go then with one, two, three, four, five relies. And it's like and away we go for this final race at Brazil. Mikkel gets a, a massive start there and already almost gets P1, but he gets P2 instead. As we go up to turn two, someone didn't start, didn't get, didn't, uh, get a good start. Who stopped at the line there. As he gets disqualified in the session for parking in dangerous location. As we go down through the, uh, to, through the field, he has to try to fight. To defend from the oh, Max has hit the back of Lewis. Yeah, Max, lots of cars running wide though through turn four. As the Don't the hit Clement, Monkey, though, Monkey's super. almost lost it. Oh my! Monkey reaches the track in 13th. Monkey has damage again. It looks like Is it Lewis and Max seem to really going the car that well. Yeah. Max trying to fight their academy mates here. They, they got two Alphatories ahead, which shouldn't be a problem, and their teammate too, who's uh, defending from Hilsey, who's also defending from Brandon here. That's okay, as at the start, then, as usual. Max is now trying to go out. Lewis once again as they hit them, and they manage to go on the outside there. They get hit off the track almost. Stan Silver stays back and watch this battle. This crazy battle, I would say, taking place right now. As in the free then with the fastest lap 127.190. Max now onto the uh, first corner, then outside, then inside a turn two. 
and they keep the plays as we have an Alpine which spawn after hitting um, Nassau Martin. Max then proceeds to overtake Lewis. Lewis also loses it and gets wing damage due to that. Brandon overtakes me while Hilsey almost gets pushed off track. I don't know if they got a warning due to that. Hilsey really struggling here in those first stages of the race. And we've got 36 laps to go, so it's not really a good thing, a good way to start the race, but anything can happen, as I always say. Meanwhile, Supercars finds themselves in P15 after sending a dive at turn 2 and spinning due to that, unfortunately. They have to do a comeback after scoring the first points in the sprint race. Just one, but still, it's something. Brandon's had a big snap, and now Max is side by side with him towards the final corner. And they touch on the exit, and Max gets ahead. Max really aggressive with anyone today. I cannot blame them as Brendan there has another spin. Look at that. They did that almost, and Max was up there, but they stopped on track instead. I feel like it also, has, a, has also had a spin. Feel like Brendan goes into the pits. Will Billikers follow him? No. So Brendan Pitts then. As we have Lewis running wide there. Pretty wide there at turn 3. Zerkiman catching up with Mikkel as well as he's going side by side almost. With the Mercedes driver to get that P2 once again as he did in the sprint. Can he get them move down around the outside? He can, but Mikkel is fighting against it. He's going on the inside, they touch. Meanwhile, Zekiman's still ahead of the Mercedes. This is letting Hugo catch up a lot. Mikkel almost going at it. He has to break though, he has to stay back for the moment. And Zekiman keeps the place for the time being. Now will Hugo look to follow Zekiman through past Mick? And chase McLaren potentially get himself up into P2. Well, as long as they have enough YAS, I think there's not a problem. But the problem comes when you have almost zero zero percent YAS, and that's what Hugo's doing right now. He's wasting it all, which is not ideal during the first few laps. Max, meanwhile, 120.581 beats Asuna Free in terms of lap times here. Brings. He'll bring a point if he stays in the top 10. Additional point for the fastest lap. And Mikkel is pulling away due to more Yas yeah, overall. And managed to defend off the Red Bull quite easily there. Zekiman already pulling away from Mikkel. And catching up on the, on the second Mercedes ahead. Siberia gets past Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong going at it once again though on the inside. They're fighting here for the P11. They touch the Sims. Look what is Donkey Kong doing there? I he think the track. he had an illegal overtake or thought he oh, made yeah, the move there. unfairly, so he was trying to get out of the way. Yeah, it looked like a break check there, even though he, wa um, he had to give the place back. But yeah. And now we have one, two, three, four cars battling over third place. And Apollo is a spam, by the way. Max is going to look to try and get past Hilsey. Oh, and Hugo's gone deep. Hugo. Is that another lock up? I wonder. Wide. Interesting. As the Utensiver is also catching up as well, like their teammate. Mick is really holding up this train, already lost two seconds to Zakiman within just over a lap. And Zakiman's almost caught a second to SD Nokri. You can't really blame the Max for for really pushing right now because after what happened in the sprint race. I was gonna have to save the tires at some point. Because of course, look at that. As Mikkel had a moment there, that this lets Max get through, he'll see the who was almost let's say Innocent <laughs> to the uh, to that section. I was saying though, no, Max will have to think about when to pit as well, because the pit stops will come at some point. And you have to think well though. So 
feel like his down gets fast, don't get con as well. And Max now proceeds to gain all the slipstream he can gain on Mikkel. Doesn't gain as much on the main straight. Can he gain some on the following straight? Seems like he's getting a bit held up there in turn two. And he's ha he has a better exit than Mikkel. Uses the eyes. Mikkel tries to defend as hard as he can. Offers the inside there. They go side by side through turn four. Mikkel stays ahead for the moment. He goes this a bit more. This is like into it. Trying to get around the outside of Max. Backs out of it. Wise move there. Didn't want to fight it through the middle sector. That was a similar move that happened in tier 1 by the way with someone on the inside, someone else on the outside and he also could have done, could have spun the, didn't back out so yeah This train is starting to, to, to get some more cars involved Then Super now cat caught up to the party and Lewis is not that far away either Max will have another round now but as the ice time progresses the tires of course get older so will it be still easy for, for Max to, to gain slipstream once he has all the tires we'll see I guess Max has a lot more batteries to deploy so if he wants to try and push past Mick he will be able to do that Indeed. And I wonder if he might use a bit now he goes on the outside this time he tries to stay, Mikkel there, trying to push him a bit there, wide, they make contact once again and Mikkel stays ahead for the moment this, this is probably what Max doesn't, doesn't like at the moment, getting held up as he's losing time also to the top two speaking about the top two, Zekiman is almost caught up below a second to SM3 obviously he cannot use DIS but still quite close because you start start getting the effects of the slipstream. Supercars now, Brandon fight fighting each other in sector one. Looks like Brandon got the place, but Supercars fights back, goes a bit wide, and has to see the place once again. Max is almost Max pushing Mick through again. the corners. Yeah, really close. The Red Bull and the Mercedes, meanwhile. I don't understand why he hasn't just deployed the battery and gone for it yet. He needs to try and clear and to get behind towards the top. The inside there. That's really close between those two. Through turn one they go. As they're still side by side through turn two. Max manages to gain the place. Be, be holding up. Has finally got Probably didn't have enough speed to get the, to send it um, in turn 3 and all the list battling has ahead. let darts catch up for the back of the train yeah that was, that was, that was what I was saying of course you cannot really make any moves while you have a train in front of you but if something happens you have a lot of places to gain now he'll see is the next, let's say, customer for Mikkel. And these two are one of doing the championship, so that will be a very tightly fought battle. Mick knows he needs to try and get some more points to save from his advantage. As look at them, they're all really close to each other, but not as close as Max was. So we're gonna have to see if Max now with fresh air can catch up to Zakiman ahead as Supercars now the first driver to get 3 seconds to track limits Lewis Spitz Lewis Spitz actually I actually realized Lewis Spitz this early into the race for wing damage I think that's the second time they pit they, they pit once in the, in the sprint race not wrong uh, now they pit again in the main race because I don't know if the, the, the tires will last that long, but they're gonna find out, I guess. And 
Let's heal now. Okay. That's gonna be massive for the end race results. Is it cruise? There is three seconds will go to the end of the race. Applied to the total race time. And may not wanna have three seconds if you're Super fighting cars is into the, the wall. top three. That is coming through turn two. You'll rejoin the track. He's left the session. He's about to get lapped as Zaki man has managed to catch up to Estino Crete now to gain the first place, provisional first place, obviously. There's still a lot of laps to go as Apollo spins once again at the same corner he did earlier. Estino Crete moving now to the inside now. Uh, Zaki man saying on the outside there. He's trying to catch up still, not making any silly moves at the moment. Because he knows he, ha he has quite a lot of time, he just has not to make any mistakes and he has the place right in front of him. He's waiting. Will he see wait though? You see, he comes round the same corner as Zakiman and he sends it instead. Oh, Mikkel, of course, through the inside has a better exit. Hugo is trying to take advantage of that, but has to stay back for the moment. It looks like he also stays behind. Obviously, you cannot really make any moves through these corners unless you're really close to the driver. The supercoach comes into the pits probably due to damage, and he's about to get lapped as well. Hugo looks closer to Hilsi now to perhaps pull a move on the Haas driver. He cannot. Can Zakiman do that on Estina Cree? He gains, gains and gains. He moves to the outside. At turn four they go. This is the same move which happened between Mikkel and Max. He earlier. has gone past Hilsi. Indeed. They touch. And they make they come they make contact actually. They make contact. I knew some something would end badly at this corner at some point, but Hills against the place though. Well, let's say keeps the place. Luckily, unless Hugo didn't lose as many places as he would have if he if he had Lots of cars behind him, so he can still fight. You know, he gets past Siberia, meanwhile. Up ahead, we have another round of Zakiman trying to get past the Mercedes ahead. Lap 11 out of 36, we're soon gonna see lots of people come into the pits. Both McLarens are pressuring both Mercedes at the minute, but neither of them can get past so far. As Zekman has barely any ass left, but he uses it, he's using it all this time. He's closer than ever. He tries to go on the outside once again. He's setting up opposite to one, two. Still side by side to turn four and turn five as well. Will Zekman keep the place this time? He will. But will Aston McQueen actually fight back? Not for the time being. Losing also quite some time to Zekman now through these corners. But Zekman, for the moment, he stays. P1 and I'm sure Sino Cree is thinking of something to gain that place back because who wouldn't? Max meanwhile is managing to catch up to those two. He's still three seconds behind but did gain some time on them when they were fighting. As when the race is this calm, uh, you expect to see some people peat. It's gonna be crucial to either overcoot or on the coot now. Is he gonna gain places later? Brendan now gets three seconds of track limits. And that's the queen. I think he got a warning from turn two.
Nunes meanwhile caught up to Apollo He's about to go for a move but he loses time instead because he has a moment Snap of obviously He has enough yes though to try and gain that time back So does Apollo Nessie Nakri as I said earlier now gets 3 seconds of track limits He's the fourth driver. I think he won't be the only one in this in this race. I think we'll soon see lots of drivers with those penalties. He's in the rain because it's harder. Not as hard as 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 harder as Canada though. Canada's gonna be quite an issue for the track limits next week. But for now. We still have a tier 2 to go after this race. Max now improves his fastest lap 120.547. And Lewis taps Apollo there and sends him round through the corner. Well, that's not ki the kind of move you expect, and he also gets dropped by one place, and is soon to be dropped twice again as his tires lose lose temperature now. Brandon has Deet as a very weak target ahead. Then, dance the to the track limits penalty. More and more people picking up those three-second penalties. Could be key not having those by the end of the race if it was a late safety car. Apollo goes into the pits. Meanwhile, Siberia, three seconds in track limits. Max now has caught up to to Essinger Cree. Meanwhile. This is the same situation as Zakiman and SD previously. Zakiman has managed to pull away for two seconds from Mercedes driver. Lancer is also not that far away from Miko either, but Max is closer. And he could try pull out to move anytime now. Max with a lot more battery to use when he wants to try and go for a move. We go for the outside here potentially. Goes over the outside. Stays back though. Is then Super gonna try a move on the teammate? On the on Estima Chris teammate. Stays back as well, just like Max. Who Max win the race in your opinion? Will Zakiman take the win? I think they're very similarly matched on pace. I think he might struggle to catch. Zaki, but if there's some kind of penalty or anything could really happen, if they were closed up in any way, then I think it'd be a very close battle. Next, he's going to look for a move on not. Have another round then of fighting for those two. Now they're closer, they go up to the outside now. Now turn one, Max looks ahead, to be ahead Ooh, and the of Asinokri. They have a moment though. Brandon gets three seconds in track limits. It looks like Asinokri stays back for the time being. Donga Kong then, three seconds in track limits. Now they're, they're starting to, to get those three seconds more off and those drivers. Monkey, monkey just wants to dive into the pit. Picks up a penalty on his way in, just feeding. Very difficult pit lane to judge here because of the twisty entry. Which some drivers don't follow, but that can mess with your braking points. They also had wing damage, from the looks of it. Brandon now gets past Siberia at turn 1 and gains P9, P10. Not really has lost slipstream to Max, so he won't be putting a charge back anytime soon. 
Yeah, it looks like the Tars are reaching the almost the maximum potential here. Now you expect that when the leader starts to pit, everyone else will follow a few laps later. So that's usually what happens. In those kinds of races. And even if the tire performance may be reaching its maximum performance, um, Dan Super is still not far away from Mikkel. He's caught up even more now. I wonder if lap. I wonder if we'll see Dance boxing this lap or the next to try and get an undercut on Mick, use the new tyres and the extra pace, try and get a move on the Mercedes without having to race him on track. That wouldn't be a bad move, considering he has a penalty too. Well, we're going to have to see whether the overcoot or the undercoot are, um, are more powerful in the rain conditions because in dry in, in the dry conditions if i remember correctly it's the undercoot which is powerful than um more than the overcoot i may be wrong i may be mixing those up but that's what i found out as apollo gets past their academy mate they're in ai apollo they're disconnected i think i can't send them an invite because this is what it shows on my friends list so it's completely blank. Yeah, Mikkel, did he spin? Because it looks he's now ten. Uh, no, actually, he didn't. It just showed all of a sudden 10 seconds to Estino Chris, so I thought he had a moment. So they looked to be closer to the teammate earlier. Dancer, though, surely is. But cannot pull out a move anytime soon for the moment. No, uh, Chaz Mister, I do have like 122 friends on this game, but it just doesn't show anything. Uh, it, and it's happened yesterday, and I still have it, so... I'm gonna try and report it to EA. I'm pretty sure it's gonna remain like that, so... I'm gonna have it. No, not be able to invite anyone anymore. <laughs> that means it's max now surprisingly comes to the pits before Zekiman and as in the Greek claims P2 due to that and Mick is also into the pits for, 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 for soft wet um, Mick also yeah comes in, into the pits now it's really crucial to see where, where those drivers will come out when the others pit. The, 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 the only two drivers uh, to have pit in the top five. So. Mikkel comes out, will be close between Bilakis and Lewis, but he comes out right ahead of him of them. Behind Hugo. He has a lapped car in front, that's super cause. Max right in front of the teammate. And behind Hilsey, who's fighting with Dan Super now? Lewis, meanwhile, really close to Bilakus as they make the move on the Aston Martin driver. They're still side by side though. Lewis makes contact with the Aston Martin there. Trying his best to get the pits, place. Reacting to Matt. That's in the free hole, so follows him. Will Dance follow him? I would. Uh, yeah, he does. I thought he wasn't because due to, to double stack, but Zachyman already left the pit lane. He'll see also comes to the pits. Hugo comes to the pits. Max gets ahead of Estina Creep, but still stays behind Zachyman. Obviously. And SD stays ahead of the up calves of supercars. Also, Dan's now comes to the pits. Hilsey collides with him. Where will uh, Mick be relative to that pairing? Obviously, Mick was ahead of the two of them before the pit stops. And will come out behind both of them. He's not 
our head. Didn't mean to lost a bit of time there. Now they need to try uh, and pull away. I don't know, but I, I saw one of those two heels colliding with Dan Super. Lewis now gets past Billakers officially. The Kenfuck is on hunting the perhaps uh, academy mate. Saying perhaps because I don't know if they're actually hunting down, but that's who they have ahead at the moment. Still a few drivers left to pit, but the main group has pit. It's going into the favour of of Max and uh, McLaren here. So Mikkel is still trying to get past the house of Hills and he's gaining on them right now. They try to pull on the inside at turn one. Hilsey stays back for the moment. But he needs to get a better exit to hopefully gain time on the Mercedes. And he does gain time on the Mercedes. What will Mikkel do in this case? Off for the inside. Will Hilsey go for it? Yes, he will as they make a bit of contact there. They are really close to each other. A turn four. Mikkel stays ahead though. Siberia comes in, into the pit. And Hilsey decides to wait and stay and for to pull in any or the move but he sends it at the next corner then and now he doesn't want to lose any time this is losing them both both of them time to damn super though as Miko is having two seconds behind him with them Ilzy really Ilzy. doesn't wake you up on this yeah he needs to just work with him now Max now proves his fastest lap time 119.593 Miguel is now going to try and pull away from the Haas if they let them. Miguel, meanwhile, in the distance, looks to be catching up to this group. Of course, as, as long as they fight, they're going to catch up. And then he'll see. Another round then with barely any eyes left. Tongue Kong gets three seconds to track limits once again. As we have a spin from Billakers. Uh, the exit of turn two. We've not lost any places due to that. Brandon comes into the pits. He repairs their wing as well in the process. Apollo got the place on the Alphatar with Siberia could get the place and Brandon too. This will be close between those two. Is they they are close to the point zone, so in Siberia it's a better exit. They will be close on the um, feed exit. Siberia is right ahead of him. So Siberia doing a really good pit stop then. Gain time. I guess the undercoot and the overcoot both walk. As we saw earlier, the overcoot massively walked. On oh, Mikkel. Probably Mikkel lost time, I don't know. Now Donkey Kong is pitting, he will come behind uh, Hilsey Mikkel, who are currently fighting for P5. This is also letting Hugo catch up. As he has the left car off, don't get on the head, feel like his bits. Gets dropped to P10. Then we close with Apollo. And Max now. After we'll, we'll, uh, we didn't really comment uh, much about, about him during this time as Lewis spins. Luckily, Ghosting is on there. Um, yeah, it was Brian, oh, not Lewis. There. Max now is below a second in Zachyman, despite the being no DIS, we saw how fast he was with slipstream earlier. He's managing to build a massive uh, comeback now. 
from spinning in a sprint race to the to almost P1 here. He's already pulled that 11 second gap to SN3. And meanwhile, Apollo came uh, in front of uh, Bill Ackes at the pit exit. It looks like to have stabilized the gap with Mikkel as he has a barely any ass. If he wants to get past in the series, he probably start, needs to start saving some EIS. It is crucial in the rain between all the EIS. Probably repeated that a million times, but I keep saying it. Uh, As mm. Max looks to be close to Zakima now. When they try to pull out a move on the McLaren then for P1. Will they try and stay back for the moment not to risk anything? They're too far away it seems. And in fact they stay back. This is also close to Mikkel, uh, so is Hugo. As Hugo is gaining on the Haas now, the Haas has to think about defending from the Red Bull. And is letting Mikkel pull away easily now. Hugo with the same tyre age, but we'll have to see if they got fresher tyre wear. Fresher tyres, I mean. Uh, what happened to the new graphics, just Mr. Ax? Uh, that's overlaid on Twitch, so if we don't have PC streamers available, we have to resort to Xbox streaming, so yeah. As I speak about that, Max really close to Zakiman once again. He's trying his best to get the plays on the McLaren. He sets up Bubble Sector 3 as well at the moment. And he's down closer than ever. Supercar, so the opinion of Supercars pulls away then to give way. To those two fighting for the win, original win, obviously, because as was in the sprint, there could be a late safety car. It isn't likely right now, but you never know. Dan Super then gets three seconds of the track limits. You go right behind Chelsea. Indeed. Gonna try and move to the outside. They're all side by side in two, um, five, and they've Ooh. touched. Ooh. They make contact. Hugo sense gets sent to the, to the grass there, and they're getting passed by the, by the academy mate too. Polo Pit, and also Monkey, almost. No, actually, Max, Max is out. No, man. Max has crashed. Oh. Max is out. That brings out, as I said, I should shut out next time. That brings out a safety car. How has Max crashed? He was right behind Zachman. He's crashed right on the straight there. That I wonder what happened there. That's weird. He was right behind Zachman. Either they made contact while side by side, or, or I don't know. That's the second GNF then in a row for Max. First in the sprint race. Now in the main race, will anyone pit at the, at the moment? Doesn't look like that, but apart from supercars. And so now, pets, those then. with no penalties are going to benefit massively. Yeah. 
Uh, as I saw correctly, uh, Lewis Spitz and Monkey does the same. They're gonna have fresh tires, obviously. Monkey also serves the 5 second time penalty, Donga Kong another 3 seconds for, for track limits. Let's review how many penalties every driver has at the moment. We have Aston Ekri with 3, Dan Super with 6, Pilsi with 3, then we go all the way down to P10 for Siberia who has 6 seconds, Apollo with 3, Brandon 6, Donga Kong 9, Supercars 3. So. The driver with the most amount of penalties is currently Donkey Kong. And then Super there made a massive comeback today. With 11 places gained from the start. The losers from the start are Brendan and Supercars, obviously. They can try and, ga and gain those places back. Fish fingers of course are hard that disqualification due to issues on starting the race, so 13 places lost from the start, but apart from that, it's Brandon and Supercast with 6 places lost from the start. So when will we restart this race then? You you may be wondering. Probably lap 30. Donkey Kong was quite lucky not to be lapped though. But if I'm not wrong. Yeah, Supercars did get lapped. Actually, it didn't. I think there's no, quite yeah, a did, lot of lapped did. cars by the look of it. Mm, yeah, yeah. Never mind, that I was wrong then. Uh, it's Monkey the Brand who managed not to get lapped. So, Tungus, Tungus, uh, teammate. This gives basically... Yeah, I see the great look at him. He's right, it looks like uh, Abu Dhabi 2021 right now. Though with a McLaren instead of a Red Bull, um, it's not the finale because he has two cars, two left cars ahead of him, luckily ghosted uh, for him. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how he can play the restart here, Zakiman. Because you notice he's got quite, uh, let's say, medium wall of cars separating him from the rest of the pack so, it's gonna be interesting also Dan Super has, him, has one lap car ahead that's the operatory of Brendan let's see then how this unfolds once we restart in one lap hopefully is turning out to be useful for those who pit as well. They'll have fresher tyres. Also, make sure to tune in in about, I would say, yeah, 25 minutes for the tier 2 stream. As the safety car is in this lap right in time, I would say. So we have a few more laps of racing, then we end this race and we start tier 2 right immediately. Azakiman looks to be picking up the pace right now and we start in this race officially. As is in the already giving Getting past some lapped cars here. Look at the mess right now happening at the back of the grid. Kind of really understand what's going on. Is with it all the lapped cars. That's to back out of it. Zesson Kree is already one second behind Zakiman there. Brendan gets past Siberia and Supercars gets past Donkey Kong. Okay, oh, those are lapped, so it's whoever gains the most amount of speed there. Because there's no collision for ghostly cars. You'll see going Ooh. a Mikkel there on the inside almost spins to, to do that. Oh, and, and he they does also me. touch. Oh my. <laughs> Look at that. It's now caused a massive. I, I cannot even call it train. 
Um, this is this has proved e really really bad for Hilsius. He's getting eaten by all those cars behind him. Now it's strive to survive, literally. Even though they're coasted. Hugo goes a bit wide because he has damage. It's not ideal for them. Then Super, meanwhile, uh, also Lewis catching up on um, uh, Mikkel. Just one time behind him. He also is just he's right behind as well. Then Super also close to Asin and Cree, who's couldn't ha didn't have the better the good restart to get ahead of Zachman, but you can still get a nice B2 though. As ah, is trying to get to get round Mikkel though, but Mikkel defends quite well. Five laps remaining, or well, let's say six. As Mikkel is defending quite well, is holding on for Mikkel as Hilsi sends it. Then again, makes contact with Lewis. The Alpine of supercars there goes off. Lewis has to see the plays then, not to risk any more contacts. Just the outside. Mikkel the Let's back out. Side by side with Brandon there, who's an AI. They're not in AI lapped, lapped car. Lewis then trying once again to get the move on the Haas. Looks like he's getting down easily. Oh well. Detached for quite a bit there. And now they're making even more contact through turn 1 and through turn 2. Lewis has a better exit. He'll see though. Takes advantage of the switch back. They have a better exit. They have to hold on as well. Now, had Billy uh, also had Billy and Yas left there. So Lewis can defend quite well for the time being. That is letting Miko pull away quite easily. The Polo and Supercars fighting behind Hilsey and Lewis there. Oh, he sends he's it again. He's sending it once again. And he what actually he spins doing? Lewis there. He gets three seconds of track limit. What is going on with Elsie's race today? He's just sending it. Every time. I don't think Lewis will like what happened. Uh, nor will Mikkel, but Lewis actually got a bull's outcome. Now dropped to P7. Hugo is now trying again. Because he won't let anyone <laughs> overtake him. As he'll, uh, Hugo, though, doesn't care. Goes past either way. He'll see. Shuts the door on them. And tries to hold on for as long as he can. Because Hugo cannot make anything but to wait. And hopefully gain time with with by not using the eyes it looks like as they touch Hugo Hilsey. actually has wing damage one of the from the restart Hugo has is missing an plate on his wing oh yeah I see it's the right plate. Polo gets past supercars lapped cars racing are being ghosted as you can see behind Now it's where the Hugo can get the plays on Hilsey. He lost quite a lot of time on Miko. He's now 5 seconds behind. But I guess... Uh, for now, it's not gonna change anything. Uh, the results are not gonna, not gonna change. Apart from them, Super possibly. Uh, could pull the move on Sinner Cream, but it was still say P3 because he has 6 seconds compared to Sinner Cream, who has only 3. Mikkel catches up to Dan Super and stays below 6 seconds. He could try and get the P3 as well, but 
right now it just looks looks like it will stay like this for the moment those has gone wide this, and it's yeah three laps remaining Brandon gets another three second track limits and Siberia gets past Tonga Kong Now Dan Super manages to get below a second on Astino Cree. But they got not the much IS left. And so and the same applies to Astino Cree. Though Dan Super is using his IS, so that's making matters worse. Is he now pulling away from the from the weapon in the Alphatari behind him? Supercars close to Apollo as well, but they're ghosted. No much is to say. Stan Super is close now to Asana Cree as it's about, we're about to go to the last lap. Zakiman has just to cross the line one more time and we'll go to the last lap. And this race will end. Hugo almost got a move on Hilsey there. And he is now going to look for it, but can't get alongside. Well, we'll see a last lap drama then. Let's see. Siberia gets to set his rack limits as the Ojo is getting cut out. Now it's fixed, it seems. And the last lap now begins. Meanwhile, Chas Mister encouraging a possible win from my end. Uh, I don't know really. It's wet conditions. Um, you have to be really good at the wear conditions and that is that can be applied to Hugo as he's trying to make a move on Hilsi which seems <laughs> seems impossible for, for Lewis as he's now relaying on his academy mate to make that move since he also has a penalty so in any case he's getting dropped looks like but I move because better unless that's what they think as they're going side by side with each other Lewis gets sent off to the grass and Bert and Holmes loses an, um, another place to be like his. not the race Lewis would have expected but he still went in the points I guess Zekiman is about to, to cross the line let's see if anyone else can pull out to move before taking the camera on him looks like not and Zakiman takes the win of the Brazilian Grand Prix. That was a nice race for McLaren, just like how Brazilian Testings went. Asina Green second, Dan Super in third, Mikel in fourth. Uh, actually, Mikel in third because Dan Super had a penalty. Uh, he'll see. So Mikel eventually managed to get that, that gap down. He'll see gets dropped to P7. Then uh, Hugo to P P5, Lewis in P6, Pilak is in P7. Now he also gets dropped to P8. Monkey in P9, Apollo in P10, Supercast in P11, Brandon in P12, Siberia in P13, Longyearbyen in P14. And the people who retired are Siberia, um, Siberia Max. <laughs> I'm gonna have to remember, let me see on the database. Oh yeah, Siberia Max. Um, Fishy Fingers. And Donkey Kong. No. Just Max and, and, and Fisher Fingers. Retired from this race. This, that's what it says here. That's the podium celebration then for the 
the round 4 tier 3 which ends this way with a McLaren win could have been double podium but it's a double Mercedes podium instead due to Dan Super gaining penalties still a good race not gonna lie we're gonna now have tier 2 which I don't know if it's gonna be streamed as I'm driving so let me get the results first and we're moving on to the overall results so then the overall results say Zakiman, Asin Pri, Mikkel, Hugo, Dan Super, Lewis, Fishy Fingers, Hilsey, Bilakus, Brandon, Monkey De Bren, Supercars, Apollo, Siberia, Donkey Kong, and Max relegated to last place. That's it from from tier three today. Hopefully you know have a, an, an even better race in tier two. Uh, but I guess We'll see you in a few minutes for tier two. Make sure to to not not to leave the um, the stream. It's gonna end, and we're gonna start a new one once we and hopefully a stream for tier two. Bye for now. Um.